Well, it's warming up now. It looks to be about 35, but it was 28 this morning. And down here on the bayou, that's cold. There was even ice. There still is a little bit of ice on the surface of the water, which is very unusual. So I'm out here and got a nice little fire going in the outdoor kitchen stove. Got my coffee keeping warm right on the edge. And a couple of little things. Got Birdie down here. A couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. And the first one is a shout out to these guys right here. ATN. Um, ATN makes what most people would consider the lowest end and most affordable entry into the um, thermal scope scene. And most affordable and lower end is where I, I kind of dwell. And I have an ATN Thor um, scope. And it, it came with a um, quick, quick detachable uh, QD scope mount. And I'm an idiot, so I broke the damn thing because I forgot that it it goes differently than than a normal normal uh, uh, thread. So I broke it. Totally my fault. Nobody else's. So I called ATN, and I said, "Look, man, I broke one of the one of the bolts. Can you can you sell me just just that, just the one piece for my mount?" Guy said, no problem, I'll just send it out to you, don't worry about it. And I said, are you sure? Because I'm the one that broke it. There was nothing wrong with, with your stuff. And I said, don't worry about it. So, four days later, I get an entire scope mount. Now, ATN charges um, 99 bucks for these things. And he just sent me a new one. <laughs> and then, sent an email to... To make sure I was happy with it. I, I tell you what. I love when I see really good customer service. And I just got to give a shout out to ATN. That is some outstanding customer service. Um, and I got to tell you. If you're if you're interested in getting the thermal scopes. Um, they can cost a lot of money. Five, twelve thousand dollars on the high end. But if you're looking to, to enter into that, that world. I really want to recommend ATN. Um, I, I was first introduced to it shooting with my buddy, shooting uh, uh, pigs in Texas, and his was incredible. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. And um, I got the next lower uh, from his. His is is Wi-Fi and color, and it'll it'll um, record and do all this kind of stuff. I didn't need all that stuff, so I just got a plain one. But I'm very happy with it. And I'm about to put it to the test because I'm about to go hog hunting with it for the first time. So um, I'll, I'll give you a report on that. Now the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was I spent all day yesterday going through a wilderness first aid course. And um, it was from uh, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And it was hands-on and it was really cool. My county got some sort of grant where they were able to offer it for county residents for free. So uh, I took it. It's actually the third class that I've taken with the county and they go in progression of uh, CPR, basic first aid, and you have to have those two under your belt before you can take this wilderness first aid. So wilderness first aid, basically it, it centers on the scenario that you are not close to help. And you are going to have to um, self-rescue, or if you're if you're dealing with someone else's um, injuries and illnesses, you're going to have to find a way to get them to help or to to uh, take care of them in an austere situation. Uh, we touched on building shelters, um, building some sort of way of 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 dragging them out of there. Even talked about and and, and practiced uh, the different carries. But um, there was a lot of hands-on. Uh, we had a lot of fun, you know. The instructor, <laughs> instructor, pretty, was a pretty good-sized guy, and and we uh, had these scenarios where, you know, he was uh, hurt, and we would have to address fractures and and cuts and and gunshot wounds, whatever, and bites, and then we would have to um, address all those, and then find a way to get him out of there. Uh, we did a lot of um, 
working with um, uh, the gear that you would have in that kind of situation, you know, you know, turning jackets and backpack frames into um, into um, immobilization collars or, or or stretchers. We also worked with real stretchers. Um, uh, we we dealt with the uh, that backboard and used it a lot, and um, we we used that thing. I call it a skid steer, and that's not what it is. But is that cool thing? It was either either invented by the military and now is used by uh, search and rescue or vice versa. But it's that hard plastic thing that you put the patient into, and then you kind of fold it over on them like a taco or or a burrito or or, or a hot dog, and and um, and you're able to pull it, which we did. We, you know, we we uh, brought the patient around and, and drug him around with it. Uh, then it'll fit into one of those baskets that you can lift out with a helo. So we did all that stuff, and it was really good practice. Lots of hands-on, a lot of scenarios. And one really neat thing is I brought my my trauma pack, and I asked the instructor during uh, during lunch to go over it and crit criticize it for me to critique it. And he did, and that was great. And I took notes, and somewhere in the future, I will pull it back out, and I will go over his critique and show you the, the changes I've made and the upgrades and the additions that I've made based on his advice. And it was some really good, insightful stuff. Um, but it was just a great thing, and I really want to recommend, if you're an outdoorsman, if you're a prepper, this is good stuff to be doing. This this is right up there with, with training with your weapons. Um, this is training. And, you know, check with your county. Uh, I was shocked that my county offered this. Um, uh, it just so happened they'd gotten that grant. But um, I, I would think that, that most counties have something similar at some point during the year. And uh, even if it costs a little bit, um, that might be worth it. The next class will be in March, and it is Wilderness Responder. And it is more of a professional level, but because I've had these other classes, I can take it. It's going to cost me money. And I think it's uh, two weekends and a couple of nights. But uh, I plan on taking it, if at all possible. And um, not really going anywhere professional with this that I know of. Um, I just want the training. Uh, there is a certification that, that, that results when you finish the next one, and I would love to have that. Um, not that I have any career change in mind. It's just that I want to have that under my belt, certification or no. Uh, that knowledge is, is something that the, the, the knowledge is something that, that you just can't, you can't lose. And, um, it's really important, but Hey, just wanted to cover those two things on a cold morning and thanks for watching.